<laughs> okay, so we have just filmed another video where we did the Who's Most Likely To, which is why I still have the purple Put it in the sunlight, picture. it looks so much better in the sunlight. Wait. It looks better on our perspective. It really does, it's just, it's not too dark. It's, it looks black. So whereas the last video was a very happy note, this video is a very sad note. This, this is a story of what happened to me and not really you, but you were there and it did affect it's you still... quite a lot. On July the 2nd, I had a quite a bad car crash. Someone hit me and there was police there, there was fire, there was a couple of fire engines, there was an ambulance helicopter there because of the location of the incident. I can't give out too many details because it's still under works right now, it still really aggravates me and makes me upset every time I have to go through insurance because it's taken so long to sort out. I thought it would just be done like after a short amount of time, but as it's taken so much longer to fulfill and so much longer to finish the, the case or the whatever it's called, the insurance stuff. It's it's just, my car did get smashed to pieces. It's it's no longer with us. This is the black car, by the way, this is not the red one. This is the reason one. that Rory does have his new car. This, this is the reason I have the nice red car now. I got hit head on <laughs> as I was coming home from Leighton Buzzard and it spun me around, pushed me into a ditch. And uh, I came out, ambulance, police, helicopters, everything. I called everyone it was I could. a really scary thing to happen because <clears throat> I remember I was at my house and um, I was at, not my house, Rory's house, and I was with a friend, Laura, and her other friend. And um, Rory's mum pulls up and goes, oh, um, Rory's calling me. So I called Rory and I called Rory to find out that he was, he had a car crash and I, I remember feeling so scared. But, um... and it, it was a very scary time for both of us. <laughs> I was in shock where it happened. I was trying to walk around. Everything was smashed. There was glass everywhere. There was um, a, a, a picture of my colour up like now for like five seconds. It, it was it was very, very hard to deal with, especially a couple of weeks after the accident. That's why in a couple of our videos, we were going to stop it, stop the YouTube for a while, just until we got another car. I, I was feeling job. very, very bad, but doing the YouTube made me take my mind off of it. Making the videos helped me take my mind off of it and uh, helped me move on from it. So um, I'm sort of glad that I have this as a way to, this and you, as a way to take my mind off of it. And uh, it still does torment me to this day. I, I came out of there with little injuries, but still quite big. Every time I've showed a friend, they, they say, oh, you're lucky to be alive, which really pushes my mood down. Mm. And yeah, then then be like, what are you going to do now? Because all this is all this has happened in the worst timing. You're still in your technically first insured year as you're in your own, on your own insurance. And um, it just makes it so much more difficult to do things. In a couple of the videos, we had no cars. We would take buses places. I really do love my new car. I, I treat it so much better than my old <laughs> car. I'm just so happy that I have people around me to support me. Like when it happened, I had Laura there. I had you there. I had my mum there. I had my dad and everyone there everyone. was attempting to help me out. But the thing that helped me out is the fact I had you and Laura there because you were both like with me all the time. You wouldn't leave me alone. No. <laughs> You'd both be like, oh yeah, no, no, it's all right. It's all right. You'll get a better thing. Things happen for a reason. Then after the incident, I went to my brother's house and um, I spoke to him about it because I know he's had accidents in the past and he would know how it feels more than like my mum who's had accidents when she was like, Young. 18, like, like 1920, really young. whereas not the year 1920, the age wise. But so I, I went to speak to my brother about it because he's had them recently and he was like, yeah, you are. This is how you're supposed to feel. It'll feel sh it'll feel terrible for a couple of weeks, and then you'll slowly start to feel better. And he said it really does depend on the injuries. And that was the day before I went to hospital. And when I went to hospital, everyone was telling me you should go to hospital just in case, just to get checked, just to make sure that yeah. something is all right. I went there. They told me I had a dislocated shoulder that had popped itself back in, which was this shoulder, heavy soft tissue damage to the neck, which is why if I did a stupid thing like this in the video. It would be so much bigger there and like there. And my spine's quite bad as well. My ribs were broken and I had heavy bruising all over my body. I had the, sh the seat belt mark from there down to there. And it was just black and purple and 
bruised. They checked my collarbone, it was a bit pushed, but they said there was nothing they could do about that, nothing they could do about my ribs. My shoulder would heal by itself, is what they said. I've got a physiotherapist now and he's pushing me to do these exercises that were really helping adapting to going back to work. Like mm -hmm. Since I've been back to work this past two weeks, it's been a very hard two weeks for me because I'd go back to work and I'd push myself because I haven't actually been doing much since it happened. And when it happened, it really pushed me into bed for about two weeks because it was the day before I was supposed to go back to work. I was supposed to go back on the 4th of July, well, the 3rd of July. And um, I ended up going back in just before August, yeah, 28th of long time. July, August time. And I'm still not really ready for work. It's just the fact how I need to get money to move on, to pay for the car, to pay for things, to save up for a house, to move on. But as I've said with my injuries, dislocated shoulder, heavy soft tissue damage everywhere, neck, spine. I had cuts all over my body from the windshield smashing on me. I'm so thankful that my airbag actually worked, or I would have had broken nose, broken face, glass all over the face and everything. And um, the broken ribs, the uh, bruising everywhere. It was just, it was hard to look at, look at it without thinking about what happened. And you never really know what you've got until you've lost everything. And that day I didn't lose much, but I felt in my, in my heart as, as it was happening, I felt like I was dead. Because I, I felt every, I literally was thinking about everything that I could have done better, everything I could have improved, what I could have done to help people. But no, I, I, I felt all of that flash. I, I, I never really thought it was real when people say that you see your whole life flash before you, but now I know you really do. You see everything that you could have improved, everything you could have done better, everything you could have just not done and improved yourself and being a better person. And... Yeah, I'd, I'd never wish anyone else to go through what I did. I was so lucky to come out of that with little injuries and little time in hospital. But as, as I came out, I came out and uh, we uploaded a YouTube video the day after. Really? Which, yes, because it was a Thursday. Oh my God. We uploaded a YouTube video the day after and then we started filming more. Because I really didn't want to stop YouTube because we're actually doing quite well. We've over, we've had over 150 new subscribers since I've started, since I've joined this YouTube channel. I really feel like I am now a part of this, although you might not agree. <laughs> I feel like I am a part of this YouTube channel you and are. I've helped this grow you quite really a lot. Are. I feel like with with the YouTube channel, we we are doing quite well. I've had a couple of people come up to me and be like, oh yeah, you're doing mad, if you ever come big, buy me this. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll make a video out of it, hopefully. It's, 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 it's lovely, it, make, it makes me feel happy. Just having to spend the extra time with you makes me feel a lot better as well. Although we live together, we don't actually see each other as much as people think. I think, now, we've been going to work a lot recently. I've been doing uh, 40 hour weeks now, and you know, maybe having a couple of days off, maybe in those two days off, Rory's at work or my, my my days at work have been quite not long but long at the same time They've not as long overnight. as you but a lot of them have been what's called unsociable hours and I come back at like five in the morning three in the morning one in the morning literally any time past 12 and I just feel like I come home way too late and I can't like really go to bed and yeah. talk to you about things that have happened. You did what on the first time you did, and then yes, yeah, because a guy got stabbed right in front oh. of me, and I, sh I shat myself at the time, and then slowly started to deal with it. So you literally got stabbed like a meter in front of me, and I was just sitting there. I was like, uh, I really hope that you can all see this and understand why sometimes our videos are a bit late. It's because we're both very busy people at the mm. moment. We're trying to we're trying to juggle full time jobs doing things outside of work, unsociable hours. Mm. We were at the first we were trying to juggle, trying to find, look for cars, work and everything. Not only that, at one point we so, were thinking about uploading more than once a week, but I think we, at the moment- We were debating uploading quite, like, two twice, times once a week and then once another. the next week. Just so it'd be three uploads every fortnight. I think before we do that, <laughs> we need to get a lot of videos prepared. And then when they're prepared, yeah. we can start doing it more often. So like, I think what we might do is, I think I want to make a video, which is, uh, cocktails, just making different cocktails and trying them. You know, and then you want to do like it, those videos. And you want to do it a say it shot it. So I reckon soon. by next week we'll have a couple of videos prepared. And don't don't see this as just a like a fake video to move on. It's just me telling a story getting off my chest. Because it has been quite a hard time for both of us dealing with 
all insurance like it's still going through and that's why sometimes we can't film as quickly like that's why last yeah. week's video was filmed thursday it was filmed the day before it was filmed the day before and we had to edit it early morning friday and, upload it, yeah. and then upload it six seven it came up a bit late but we've had so many times where we've just been dealing with like insurance stuff dealing with car stuff and uh, trying to make a video out of something and it goes wrong. Like we've made a couple of videos that we've just scrapped. Yeah, so we've got a couple of videos ahead now. We are slowly getting better at this. We are we are still quite new to this, although it's been like is it three, four months of uploading. But otherwise, I'd like to say that we are we are near enough fully healed mentally. That well, mentally we'll still be there quite a while. Physically, we're getting there. I've got like another like six, seven weeks until I'm fully like. Yeah back to how I used to be. I can jump around trampolines and everything. <laughs> I also want to do a trampoline video, but so far we're not allowed to do that. I want to do that car video. I do, but I don't want to tell people what it is. You don't have to. Because I want to it's add proud these are my cars. I hope you listened to this video and understood how we're feeling. If you've ever been through someone some something like this, just know it will get better. Yeah. It does it does slowly push on your emotions and you do start to like feel more than more than you usually would. And uh if you need anyone to talk to about it, we are here. We do have social medias that you can talk to us on. We don't we don't mind. We honestly will reply to, to all of you. Always. We've got the comments, comment section and if, we've got if our you, social media. If you so. ever want to talk to any of us privately, you can, first of all, you can follow our Instagram page. And if you just really want to talk to one of us, you can ask and we'll give you our personal Instagrams yeah. and you can talk to us through that. Our personal Instagrams is not hard to find. You can genuinely see them from some of our videos. I think on on like our first video, our Instagrams, I think they're linked in the description. Uh, they might be. Or, or to be fair, you just look at our YouTube one and then look at the followers and there's only one Beth and only one Rory. Two, if, thank if you. you. If you feel, well, if you enjoyed this, this talk and story time leave a like and we'll do another one and this next one won't be won't be on such a sad note it'll be on the the note of how we broke our bed <laughs> in this room oh my god yeah because uh, i've heard people actually do want to see that so we could film that soon yeah but that was a really weird thing and on a new note how we broke our new bed i hope you have a nice day evening whatever time you're watching this and we will we'll see, see you, you in the week. next video bye, bye.